think she's labeling me as some sort of weird egg thief because her last clutch, she didn't want to give up. She laid on and uh, even hissed at me and wouldn't get off the clutch. And I had to shoo her away and take the eggs. And she wasn't happy about that at all. But uh, back to what I was saying. Um, I got them pre-bred and from one breeding for first time females to begin with, I was really happy that um, you know her first two clutches came out fertile. Um, pretty rare. Um, but just those two clutches out of one mating, um, wouldn't really expect her to be fertile anymore. It would be great if it happened. Um, you know, I, I'd love to have some more eggs and just four. Um, but four would be just fine with me. That'll get me on my track of what I need to do. Um, if I get a male, I'll hold the male back. And uh, just in case I want to put Raptor in anything else. And um, probably trade or sell off the rest. Just to get some money into this. And uh, these girls, I can't separate them. They're, they're friends for life. Um, question mark head actually shed last night. I do believe, and uh, was having troubles, and was walking around the whole cage trying to get started, just having trouble started for some reason, and um, my other female came out of this side here, and went running straight towards her, and put her hand up on her, and like, scratched her head, and got it started, and was helping her take the shed off, I didn't have the camera, I figured that if I moved, that it would scare them, so, but she was helping her shed, and they both went into this hide here, and came back out, and they were fine. Her, I was going to do a really funny picture, because I found a foot, <laughs> uh, a whole arm in there that she didn't eat, but uh, I thought it was funny. I was going to do a whole, oh my god, there's a, I found an arm in my cage, but uh, I'm actually probably going to keep that one for a little bit just because I think it's humorous, but that's me. Um, but that's about it, really. No updates. Um, they're eating and pooping, so they're okay. Um, my mealworms are turning into beetles and eating and pooping. Um, in this tub, I've got a lot of babies. Um, I mean, if I kick it up here, I can see quite a few I don't know if that'll pick them up or not you can see one right there there's a couple more in here as well so it's gonna be good a couple another month hopefully they're gonna be big enough to start feeding off um, once they get a little bit bigger, probably going to make some more bedding, sift all of this out into one of these other containers, and put in some fresh on top of it, just for the babies, um, so that way they can grow up a little bit. Um, the rest of these other two tubs, I'll probably leave alone. Um, well, this one I may sift out as well in this one because this is what the beetles were originally in and I moved them all over to here um, I'm going to edit this down a little bit I know <coughs> <coughs> I did a um, cleaning video to music like what uh, Matt and A&M Geckos does but uh, I have the camera up there pointing towards here because this is where I do all my work I love this cage because I can just put I put everything up here. This is perfect for six quart. I put one here, one here. I move Leo over to here. I take out all the paper, throw it away, put in the new stuff, and in the middle, I got the room for all the other stuff that I take out of the cage. Put it all back in, rinse and repeat. But uh, 
I was in the film too much, and I'm a pretty big guy, so didn't think that you guys wanted to see that too much. So I um, don't know if I'll put it in there or not, but uh, it was fun to film. Uh, it was like 30 minutes to do the work in this cage, those three, and do some mealworm stuff. So I probably won't do it, but anyway, false alarm. I thought she was laying. She could even still be laying in here. Um, I'll go charge up my battery and upload this video, and as she lays, I'll do a second video, but, uh, I guess that's it for now. Uh, I need to get a rack built. Uh, I need to get some time to build the rack so I can get, uh, room for babies, and the show is next week, and I've got to get a house for a male. Um, originally I was wanting to put in here. I probably won't. Uh, I do have a ten gallon underneath there that I used to use a long time ago, um, which should be fine temporarily as long as the male isn't huge. Um, but I don't know what I'm gonna do as of just yet. <coughs> <coughs> kind of want to see what they got first and see if I can even come up with something that I need. Um, but other than that, I've got to get. A rack that'll hold, I want a rack that'll hold at least four 12 quarts for right now, and probably eight to 12, six quarts on top, just so that I can get everything ready for babies whenever they hatch. Then all I have to do is just move them over, but uh, I guess that's it for now. I said that four or five times, but uh, let me it this time. And uh, if anything changes, I will uh, let you guys know. So, right there, there's the other little one peering into his bowl, hopefully going to eat. Yeah, he's going to eat.